Hello guys, how are you all? I'm here once again. I was messing around here with Substance Painter and I decided to make a quick tutorial guys on how to uh, assemble uh, the textures uh, on the head. So you guys can use it as a dummy, you can use it to, um, to refine your skins, to add uh, makeup and everything. You can use these steps to use on the HD layers as well, which we are going to turn off. All right, guys, uh, the kit comes uh, like this with all the layers. All right, here in texture set, uh, set list, you guys, uh, uh, as I told you before, uh, if your guys are not working with the 3D, we can turn off everything here. All right. Everything, the browse. Anything that might come around. Here, guys, on... Um, with the head clicked here, which uh, we are working. Over there, clicked. Uh, we are going to turn off the guides for now. Alright, um, now guys, we're going to create uh, few layers as well. Alright, I will use this skin I was working before. Alright, I'm going to load this texture, this, and of course the ears. A thing here, guys, is really. Uh, quick, all right. Before any uh, doing anything here, um, creating any layers or fill layers, you're going to add our resources. Okay, so click here, add resources. Okay, guys, you're going to choose the the textures that we are working the base textures all right i'm going to uh, take the brawless version all right so for instance i'm going to pick this i'm going to pick the neck of the same tone and i'm going to pick the ears with the same tone here guys i'm going to change the texture here on, on the find before loading into your library here okay and just click import all right guys the imported texture uh, were right there uh, if you guys can see here we have three um, tiles on uh, the 2d area all right in which we are going to work I mean going to add all right so it's really simple guys here on the head with the head uh, clicked you go into fill layer all right which is this little bucket here without clicking anything you're going to properties all right here on projection we're not going to mess anything here on we uv wrap you're going to click on none here we can turn off for now any materials all right guys just leaving the color one and here on base color we are gonna to gonna load our first texture all right just drag it all right since it's the first um, uh, tile here she got perfectly fit fitted all right so we have the first part of our dummy. Um, here, guys, uh, the three. I mean, uh, the two uh, layers we need to add. You're going to add another fill layer. Again, you can turn off the materials. You UV wrap to none, and then we can add on properties here on base color now we're going to add our ne uh, neck all right then here on the 2d view 
we are going to put this this texture of course on the neck area all right guys i haven't found a way to properly fit in here yet but you guys can zoom in the closest you can right the closest you can right now we have our neck all right we have on a separate layer we have our neck all right so again here guys create another fill layer turning off the materials and then you're going to load our ear all right as the other texture it comes to the the first tile so you're going to take this one you guys can see that it's repeating so here again on the uv wrap to none and then again guys you're going to try to fit as close as you can here close as you can here of course you can uh, afterwards change this or refine on Photoshop but if, if you guys can see we have the whole head with the proper textures and the proper UVs all right this is the skin I was doing yesterday for the the course all right so here guys you can save this as a dummy for yourselves or anything just you guys can rename these layers for example head here we know that the second layer is our neck okay and the, th uh, the third layer we know it's our ear okay so from now on guys you can work around with this as much as you can you can add the tails here you can um, add the skin uh, refining steps all right Let's see okay let's okay so let's create a paint layer here for us to change let's see here what's going on okay the color here guys for instance the color going to change to black <laughs> all right all right so guys i wanted to to test this and uh, show you guys uh, how it gets uh smoother to work with this all right so for instance i want to make a a tattoo that goes along the neck and everything of course it's just for showing purposes but our tattoo are going to come around the here-ish okay down there-ish there-ish There is, there is. Okay. All right. Then you want to grab all the stuff here, Rish. There is, there is. Yes, I'm just uh, showing you guys in the black color for you guys to see the seams of the mesh. You guys can get as much creative as you can. Use the fill layers, the warp tool 
to work with this, right? So I'm not going to paint both sides, but for instance, you want it to come in around here-ish and go around there-ish on the ear, which is the most complicated things to to make. So I'm going to give a zoom here for you guys to see that the seams are not glitching the ears are all covered if you paint it all and you guys can see here on the 2d area that is painting if you miss this spot just click over there all right and that's it guys i wanted to show you how to 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 load this and um you can do almost anything here with the brushes and uh, the materials and everything, right? And uh, when you are done, remember you go to File, Export Textures. All right, in this case, you're going to export our just the head textures. Okay, just the head. Here in global settings, you're going to choose the, the place. You're going to export as to the view. If you want to make a a flat texture, All right? And that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys can um, use this kit as I'm going to use from now on. Uh, an interesting here, guys, is that uh, we can uh, try to texture the ears and the back and uh, the neck to make some details that uh, is kind of difficult to make on Photoshop. And you guys can see the kit is really, really... It is light, alright? It's not a heavy uh, mesh or anything. And be creative, guys. Hey, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you guys because I'm, I'm making a dummy for myself here. So, see you next time. And we have a new chapter on the, the course uh, showing how to, to use a uh, wrap tool. I mean the warp tool to, to make the base skin, use the mask, and then to come here to refine this. Alright, guys? Thanks for watching.